From the National Press Club in Washington, D.C., this is Rewind. This week, the American Cancer Society expects over a billion people worldwide will die over the course of the 21st century due to tobacco use. We estimate that for every death caused by smoking, the tobacco industry makes $6,000. Tobacco control can be done by the low and middle income countries and it can be done well and it can be done very effectively. And I think this is our sort of message of hope. This epidemic is not going to be solved in the corridors of hospitals, it will be solved in the corridors of power. WJLA hosted a tribute to working women and honored seven women for their outstanding accomplishments in their fields. These working women travel many different paths and you'll learn that today, yet they all have one thing in common and that one thing is that they have compassion for others and that's what brings them all together. Workplace Bullying Institute released alarming statistics of bullying in the workplace. 35% of adult Americans suffer this. They know it firsthand. So it's an epidemic, right? But it's a silent epidemic because the corporate world wants to consider it an undiscussable. They say, well, there are already laws to address that. Northrop Grumman showed off their two newest robots and their potential to be used in the U.S. military. We're doing a lot of prototyping with the Army in conjunction with them on what those platforms would look like, what the various capabilities that we can uh, bring to it. I had another platform which uh, we're using in the DOD market with a 50 caliber uh, machine gun integrated onto it. The Clean Water Act celebrated its 40th anniversary, but water managers stressed that the act needs to be updated. The Clean Water Act needs to be retooled. I admire how much EPA is doing to be flexible and innovative using the statute that was written with a problem from 40 years ago. To me, it is not a problem to say now 40 years later we need an update, a modification, an evolution of a statute when the circumstances have changed. The statute was designed with a different problem in mind. The World Health Organization released a report indicating new tuberculosis cases were inching downward. The incidence of tuberculosis keeps declining. In the last uh, few years, it has been at about 2% per year. However, this is considered obviously far too slow to foresee elimination in this century. The University of Texas pulled consumer preferences on key energy issues. The issues that consumers are most concerned about uh, job creation and economic growth are two of the highest concerns that consumers have. And so to the extent that consumers associate renewable energy sources with these issues uh, could be a big positive in getting consumers uh, to adopt these different technologies. From the National Press Club, where news happens, this is Rewind. I'm Jennifer Schonberger.